it is a needful thing for you. Because today's message is the most important thing that you need according to the Word of God. According to the Bible. The most important thing of them all if you are going to try and make it to the end. And this is what he showed me, and I hope I get it right according to how he told me. Hallelujah. Is that okay? Some of you look a little worried. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is what the Lord said, and this is really kind of part two because nine months ago, the Lord gave us a message using the same tools. Yes? But now it's in a different, it's in a different kind of way. Yes? This is the church. And this is the correction by the Lord. This is the church. Not talking about just this church. I mean... All the churches in the world. This is it. And as you can see, there are many parts. There are many parts to it. These, down on the ground, are the ones who said, I'm going to go with Jesus all the way. I want to be part of the Lord's remnant. And I don't mean this church. This, this church is the remnant warrior. But the Lord has a remnant. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans and in the book of Kings, when Elijah said, I'm very concerned because everybody's giving up, and Jezebel has destroyed them all, God said, no, you're wrong. I have people with my servants hiding in caves right now praying and interceding. And even now, that you're not aware of, I have always a minimum of 7,000 remnants that refuse to bow their knee to Satan and kiss his shoes. The book of Romans tells us even today, even unto now, 
there is a remnant that will not compromise. Not for money, not for power, not for position, not out of fear of what's going on. They just keep going because they have the eyes on the prize. The eyes on the prize. And these on the ground are the ones that said, I will never give up. I will never compromise. I'm going to go with Jesus. I'm going to serve Jesus. I'm going to walk as one of his remnants. And I'm going to make it all the way to glorify the Father and to lift up the name of Jesus and to help God's people. But then, as Satan always does, as soon as you make a commitment unto God, you read the story of Hezekiah, whose father had completely surrendered to Satan. And he said, I will never do as my father did. He was giving bribes to Satan. He was damaging the works of God. And when he grew up, and he became the leader. He said, I will never be as my father. But if you understand generation curses, then you understand that the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. And the only way you can get the apple from falling down close to the tree is by breaking the curse. By going and moving it. By breaking the curse. Moving it by the Holy Spirit in your life. And these are the ones that said, I swear to God, I will never give up. I will never give in. I will never quit. I will never compromise. I got the fire, and I'm going to hold on to that fire. You remember those days, some of you, don't you? Huh? You should, because everything God has done in your life, you have to guard like your firstborn child. Because anything that God gives you, Satan will always come to take it away. As it was with Hezekiah. And in the end, there was only one way for him to overcome these things. He had to die. He had to die in his pride. And the king had to get on his knees. And these are the ones that said they would do all of that. Here. But then, But then the devil came like he always comes. And he started to do his work. Step by step. Little by little. And he begins to tell you, well, I don't need all that. That's so extreme. and I don't need to pray all that. God loves me. God will take care of this. God has this. I don't need to read the Bible so much. It's so extreme. I, I don't need all that. I don't even really need to go to church that much because I can do it at home. I can do it on my job. I take Jesus everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I take Jesus. And then they give up. 
on their walk with God because Satan convinced them of the lie everywhere I go, I go with Jesus. But while they're at their job on their free time, they're not going with Jesus. They're playing with their Facebook because Satan convinced them of the lie. And so you see step by step and little by little. I don't need to get up early in the morning and pray and seek God. It's so extreme. Jesus Christ himself had to. Jesus Christ himself in the Bible had to get up early in the morning to pray. Now, if he was God, why would he need to pray? Why would God need to pray? Huh? Huh? Because that was the rules. He didn't come here as the Son of God. He came here as the Son of Man. Intentionally, he put human limitations on himself to show us what you can do by the power of the Holy Spirit. What you can do if you can get the favor of God on your life, which religion will not do. Jesus hated religious things. He hated it. And so, in order to do it, he had to get up early every morning and seek God for the favor of the Holy Spirit power in his life. It was required. He had to pray. He had to fast. He had to go through fiery trials. He had to put up with people attacking him and slandering him and trying to destroy him and his ministry. But still keep going. That's what he had to do. If you don't know that, it's because you never read the Bible. And these are, there's many here, there's many. But these represent the ones who said, I swear to God, I got the fire and I'm never going to let it go. I got the excitement, I'm never going to let it go. I got the joy of the Lord and Satan is never going to get my joy. Because the only way Satan can get your joy is you have to hand it to him. And he'll never get it. These are the ones, these are the ones that used to do all the things required to get the fire and the power. Jesus said, if I by the Spirit of God cast out demons. So you see, Jesus could not cast out demons without the Spirit of God. Now he can, but not while he was here. He said, you must have the Spirit of God to know, no doubt, then the kingdom of God has come. The kingdom of God cannot come for signs, wonders, and miracles without the anointing. And in order to get the anointing, you got to go through the fire, man. But then, Satan came and he said, uh, well, you don't want to do that, and that's too hard, and that's too extreme, and, you know, James, he's so pushy, and he's so demanding, and the church, I already got so much uh, time used up already, and this, that, and the other thing. And then they started to say this. Well, I'd like to, but I... 
am too tired. Well, I'd like to, but I'm too busy. Well, I'd, I'd like to, but I got too much responsibility in everything. Life is so complicated. Well, I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to, really, but I gotta make some money. And the only job I could get was on Sunday. And I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm worn out. I'm so busy. I need this, that, and the other thing. I told you it would be exciting, but you probably wouldn't like some of it. You know what I'm So don't be surprised that you're feeling like, mm. Okay, I, I told you, didn't I? So I said, uh, so I said to Jesus, well, what's your plan about that? What are you, what are you going to do about that? And this is what he said. This is too small, too fragile. There's too much of me, myself, and I. Every one of these said, I would, but I. But I. That's okay for you, James, and you, but for me. Because me, myself, and I are still alive. That's the problem. Me, myself, and I are still too much alive. So the Lord said, all the ones that said they were going to go all the way and they were going to be part of the remnant, but then they said, me, myself, and I, I, I. This is what we need to do. Because we have to kill them. It's the only way. They have to be killed. And he said, and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at those ones that used to be bigger, but now they're smaller. Because no more big ones can go up there. See? And I said, okay. And then, what are we going to do with these medium-sized ones now? He said, well, they have to go through the same treatment because they're still partly dead and partly alive. That one tried to escape. as most do, when the breaking process comes, you want to escape. But you can't make it like that. You can't get the anointing like that. You can't get the fire and the power and the Holy Spirit by running away. And I said, okay, uh, what now? He said, look around for the smallest ones 
that you can find. The most dead ones. And don't pay attention to those big ones especially. You can still try and talk and convince the medium ones, but uh, he said, he said he's only looking for the small dead ones. He told Gideon, fear is infectious. Tell all the men that aren't looking and watching that drink water like dogs with their heads down to go home. They'll infect everybody. I want the ones while they're drinking, they're going like this. Like a bird. Yeah? And he defeated like 175,000 people with 300 watchful remnants. And the Lord said, take these, for they are my remnant who have been tried in the fire, and I will wear them, not you. I will wear them like a jewel in my crown. Jesus said to me, I'll tell you something interesting about the breaking process. You can't kill a dead man. You can't kill someone who's already dead. Isn't that right? That's what he said. Did you ever see somebody in a movie, they take a knife and they stab someone that's on the ground that they think, well, maybe they're dead and maybe they're not. Maybe they're playing, faking it, and they shoot them to see if they jump or they stab them to see if they jump. And when they stab them with the knife, they don't react. Why? They're already dead. You can still make it if you quit saying me, myself, and I and change it to I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. And not just the words, but you do it. Because the Bible says all will be tried in the fire. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, don't be surprised when fiery trials come on your life. Because these trials will come on everyone. Everyone will be tested and purified in the fire. And if you won't, God can't use you. You don't qualify. Many are called, but most unchoose themselves. Because you can't. Look, I know. I know there's some people here that you feel like you've been being beat down in opposition. And God is offering you the anointing right now to break that yoke if that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to do, just, just come up right now. But if you can't come up in a hurry, don't come up. If you're not excited, if you're not excited, don't come up. This is a place for excited people. I give you praise, Father, for the fire. I give you praise for the fire. I lift you up for the fire. I give you praise, Father, for the fresh touch. Go ahead. I give you praise for the fire. 
Kola baba sha te te te. Dina la la baba te te te. O tana kere. I give you praise, Father. Go tana malan te 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 te. Ah, I give you praise, Father, for the fresh fire, new excitement. Bo te na te te la te te ve te te na. I give you praise. Go ta ta la baba te te. Go na malan te te. In Jesus' name. 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 Go te 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 ba la te te ve. You too. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, the fire, 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 fire in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. I give you praise, Father. I give you praise. Receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Fire of God! Fire! Fire! Fire of God! Go te te be be la! In Jesus' name! Fire in Jesus' name! Fire! 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 I call that opposition out. I call that opposition in Jesus' name. Go! 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 Go te te le te anabada! Somebody take that child. Go te 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 be be le. Hola ba sha te te. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Go le an de te te te. Come on, Mama. Come on, this is your moment. But you're coming over here. You're gonna come over here. You're gonna stand here. You're gonna stand here again. You're gonna stand there again. Go te te be la. Fire in the Holy Ghost. 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 Fire. Go te te la te te be la te ena. Receive the fire. Fresh excitement. Go te 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 la te te be la te te e. Go na ba la. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, fire! New gifts, Father, new gifts, new gifts, new gifts, new gifts, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let me tell you, brother, Satan is lying to you. He's lying to you. He's telling you you fell away. Is it? Isn't he? Isn't he? But he's lying. He's lying. Now you come out. Let him go. In Jesus' name. A new start. A new start. A new beginning. A new beginning. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Go te te be la te te anara ye. In Jesus' name. Come here, come here, come here. Run! Oh, lift you up, Father, come on. Say, give me that fire. Give me that excitement. Give me that excitement. I'm glad to be back. Say, I am glad to be back. I'm excited. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. He's high and lifted up. He's high and lifted up. He's high and lifted up. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, we love you, Daddy. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. There's none like you. There's none like you. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy.
go to the end. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Oh, we lift you up. We lift you up. We lift him up. Come on, take a deep breath. I give you praise, Father. I lift you up. I lift you up. I lift you up. I lift you up. Oh, you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be praised. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We give you praise. You saw him lift it up. Come on, give him praise. beginning a new start in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus I give you a praise father I pray for healing for deliverance a fresh touch a new beginning new fire in Jesus name in Jesus name Jesus name in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name glory to God I give you a praise 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 we lift him up <laughs> <laughs>